Hi, so we continue our discussion with uh, using the online editor for Arduino. We learn how we can code online through our web browser. So here is the link that is, that is provided to you in the description of this video. Uh, refer to the to this link right here. So basically this link comes from this main website, Arduino.cc. Uh, so this is basically telling us uh, getting started with the web editor uh, tells a step by step tutorial on how to set up your online development environment to program your Arduino board. So we scroll through this and we see that how we can start with the web editor so uh, variety of arduino boards can be used with this web editor it's uh, the web editor will store all your programs uh, that is called sketch uh, and that will be stored in a cloud environment you don't need any installation of uh, course uh, you don't need any inst uh, installation and, and it includes most of the popular libraries so it's easy uh, in this tutorial we will walk you through the necessary step so you can use it with any of your Arduino board so this works again i will tell that this tutorial will work with all of your official Arduino board so uh, here see the goals are given that how you can create an account uh, to use the web editor in the previous module i have demonstrated how to uh, create uh, uh, an account to use the web editor that is online coding uh, platform and then now here i'm going to uh, tell you and show you how to download and install the create plugin i'll tell you what is create plugin uh, so you have to make sure that your board is recognized by the computer so i have uh, connected my arduino uno board to this laptop that or the computer I'm teaching uh, you through an USB cable. Uh, and we will then use, uh, upload a simple Blink example. So there are hardware and softwares needed. That is the web editor. What you see in the screen is a web editor. Uh, we'll, we'll tell you that. And then uh, we'll use the create agent. Then we'll need Arduino board and we'll need the USB cable. So let us see what is this create plugin or and we just click here. So this is taking me to the new page right here and it says welcome to the Arduino create agent installation. Uh, so we can download and install the Arduino create agent. And what is the purpose of this create agent is that it will uh, recognize your Arduino board and uh, other supported devices uh, that will be connected to the computer via this USB cable. So you see, this is a USB cable. This is Arduino board. This is your laptop or computer. Now, uh, this agent will also help you to upload sketches from your web browser to your board via this USB cable. So you have web editor on the computer screen the, uh, through the browser and you write your code uh, that is called sketch that will be uploaded to the board through this USB cable. Uh, this can, this Arduino create agent will also be used to read your data from the serial monitor as well as write to it. So that is a separate topic, we'll explore that. So we click a start button here and uh, we see that uh, there are two options uh, download for windows 32 and download for windows 64 De depending on your operating system you can choose the option so uh, you need to download and install this create agent to be able to upload the sketches from arduino cloud uh, so you have the sketch here see the picture it is stored in the cloud that is in the online environment automatically and this agent will help you to actually uh, uh, you download uh, you upload the sketches from arduino cloud to your board directly so that's your board here uh, but make sure that you need to be administrator of your computer system in order to install this agent okay and uh, we'll see that how it does that so these are Arduino board, this is your computer and this is your agent uh, that are all interfaced to each other and here are your sketches. So we'll click download for Windows 64. 
So now it is downloading uh, right here. I will just choose the download folder on my computer and I click save and we'll see what happens. It is uh, downloading here. And meanwhile, I will just take a look at this window. So it says that check your download folder, uh, then double click the installer and the follow the instruction. So we'll see how we can download and install this create agent here. So we'll, it is looking for installed agent. Uh, so we go to our download folder, we click here and here it is the file, it is saying done. So I just click here and it is asking me that, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? So it is asking for installer. I click S. And uh, you see, meanwhile, the installation is going on. This browser, it's saying that we are not able to detect the install agent. So you need to ready, basically uh, uh, finish the installation. Click next. I accept the agreement, click next and use the folder installation directly, click next. And it is now installing your uh, agent. And setup has finished the installation Arduino create agent on your computer, click finish. Uh, we are about to install some drivers needed to use Arduino or boards. Do you want to continue? Yes, click yes. And we just now see try again. And it is again looking for installed agent, whether the agent has been successfully installed. And now you see now the Arduino create agent pray icon is here. So we'll, uh, we'll see that whether that icon comes here. So you see here, icon has appeared here. So I just click and the icon, I can see the icon here. Uh, so you should now see this Arduino icon on the bottom bar of your desktop and click on the tray icon to pause the agent uh, or to visit the Arduino cloud web page. So you can just, uh, just do that. So uh, if you happen to close the agent, you can uh, launch the agent as you would do for any other application. So let me see that. And it is the message here, agent correct, correctly installed. So now I have this message after clicking this uh, bar here, I got this message. We are about to install some drivers needed to use Arduino boards. Do you want to continue? Click S and these drivers will be installed. All right, so uh, we just click here and I can choose here. We can quit the agent uh, or we can go to Arduino create open open configuration, remove crash reports, pause the agent. So agent is on now. I can also quit it and I can again enter into it as if you are using some other application. Just click on the icon and you can enter or quit the agent. So meanwhile, I click, I choose to click the next button. So I got these two steps completed, download agent, install agent. And uh, this uh, message is here that congratulations, you're all set. So the Arduino create agent has been installed correctly and it's up and running. And it is asking us to go to the web editor and try it out. So you can click here, go to the web editor. And it is loading the Arduino cloud for us. And now uh, you actually can see that uh, Unlike the previous modules where you have these two buttons, uh, verify and save with this arrow with the with the right mark was 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 there, but this button was disabled in the previous model. If you go, so upload and save button was disabled, and now it has correctly determined uh, and detected the Arduino Uno board. I can just click here. That is, uh, it is detecting both the board and the port. So see, Arduino Uno is the board and the port is COM3. So to this port, I got connected by 
through the USB cable. So remember, I have told you that in this module, I have Arduino Uno as a hardware board, and that is connected to my computer through the USB cable. And that's why I have got, I have got no error there. So we'll see now uh, in the next following module, how we can uh, continue uh, with the operation of using this cloud environment to write a code, compile it, verify it, and upload it to our hardware that is Arduino on the board.